श्री प्रणब मुखर्जी डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी शीला जी सुमन दुबे जी फ्रेंड्स ए वॉम वेलकम टू यू ऑल ऑन दिस ऑस्टिशस ओकेजन ऑन दिस डे वन हंड्रेड ईयर्स गो वॉज बॉर्न इंदिरा प्रियादार्शनी हु वुड बिकम इंडिया फर्स्ट woman prime minister and be counted as one of its greatest we are gathered here to celebrate her life and achievements through a photographic exhibition that offers a glimpse of the life the personality and character of an exceptional leader and an extraordinary human being I came to know Indira Gandhi intimately as the head of our small family over the 16 years that we lived together in one household just a few meters away from here. I saw her at close quarters in every mood and circumstance. I came to understand how passionately she felt for her country how deeply she cared for the poor and the oppressed how faithfully she followed the teachings imbibed from her father from him and from the other great men and women of the indian freedom struggle who had been part of her growing up It was that rigorous schooling in the independence movement that made her so staunch in defense of India's sovereignty, so committed to the ideals of secularism and social justice, and so determined to advance them through her policies and programs. I have heard Indira ji and so sure you too have heard of Indira ji is being referred to as the iron lady of India but iron was only one of the elements in her character generosity and humanity were just as prominent traits she fought yes she did but not for personal ascendancy she fought for her principles against vested interests and agendas she could not tolerate any form of bullying coercion and unfairness that was fundamental of her character that is what inspired her in all her battles those she took on and those that she faced she fought for the poor and the weak where they were being oppressed and denied their rights she toiled for their material well-being and as we all know it was in fact a championship of the green revolution that freed india from endemic famine she fought for secularism against all those forces seeking to divide the indian people on lines of religion and caste she gloried in the rich diversity of india its profound democratic and secular values for her as prime minister there was but one religion a sacred creed passionately held that all indians are equal children of the motherland she fought for india's dignity and independence as a sovereign nation against the dominance of superpowers and not only for india but for all countries that resisted colonial and post colonial forms of hegemony bangladesh creation in which she played 
so vital a part is a monument to that stand. But many, many are the instances through which she brought India international respect and admiration. She fought for nature, understanding well ahead of her time the kingship and underlying all creation and the devastation caused by human greed. She fought for India's forests, her rivers, wildlife, to protect them and to hold back those who had no regard for the precious environment that sustains human life. A contribution in so many other areas is also recognized and celebrated. It would take much too long here to list them all out or talk about them. But for instance, what she did, did for Indian science and technology, for culture, for the art, for the artisan, the weaver, for our heritage as a whole. In the 16 years, that were given to her to leave the country. Many were the challenges she had to confront from the endemic problem of combating poverty and inequality to the critical ones of war and terrorism. She faced them all with courage, fortified by her dedication to making India strong, united, and prosper. In all her efforts, she was sustained by the faith reposed in her by her fellow countrymen and women. The love, that love, was her inspiration and it was her reward. I witness it to this day in the thousands of people from all walks of life and all corners of the world who come here to pay homage to her. I hope this exhibition will also reach out to the younger generation who would benefit from knowing more about this great daughter of India. And finally, I thank all those who have worked tirelessly for many months to make this a reality, especially the staff of the Indira Gandhi Memorial Trust and ECA Archives who have curated this exhibition, which is aptly titled A Life of Courage. And I have now the pleasure to invite Sri Pranab Mukherjee who was a colleague, a trusted colleague of Indira Gandhi to address us before we inaugurate the exhibition. Thank you.